everyone. Today we are here in Phuket, the famous island in Thailand. It is the biggest island in Thailand and we're staying in a little village called Rawai. So from our balcony we get some pretty good views of the seafront. There is a main road here so it is quite noisy. Probably some of the noise now. And we also have a pool here. We never really use the pool though. So this place is $136 a night, but that's for four people since we're here with my parents. And it's a really nice place though. I really like the layout and the designs. Probably one of the nicest places we've stayed. Has all like art and stuff everywhere. Really cool art. And then also got the, the Buddha statues and monks in the paintings. So all oh, that looks really nice, nice and colorful. And then the kitchen's good as well. Got a big open kitchen area. So we've been able to cook here. Can't show you the bathroom because my mum's having a shower. And this is one of the bedrooms. So also just full of art and colors everywhere. And our bedroom is this one. Huge bed. <laughs> really nice apartment, isn't it? Yeah, I like the style and also the view, of course. Yeah, look at the wall there. Loads of paintings. And from our room, we also get the similar view to the balcony. So we'll just show you Rawai quickly. We're not really gonna hang around here because we've already been around here some other days, gonna head some other places. So we already got the boat tours going out. So it's about to get extra noisy now. That's the noisy kind of boat. It has this like big stick going off the back with the propeller. Super noisy though. So this is one of the beaches in Rawai. There's a few little beaches like this. Not many people really swim though. It's mainly just for the boat tours. There's a lot nicer beaches than this in Phuket, so yeah, that's probably why nobody really swims here. And people go on the boat tours to those islands out there. So there's quite a few islands, all those that you can see in the background, uh, islands. Some of the beautiful islands that you can visit on the boat tours. They all look really nice. I don't know if we're gonna do one because we've done loads of boat tours already lately around Fifi. But there's definitely some great options either way. Coral Island. So you can just book that here on the seafront. There's loads of these guys all day. So it's kind of early right now, but they have all these restaurants here, right on the seafront. So the day that we arrived, we ate around here. It's a bunch of different restaurants, I think. It's going all the way down the seafront. So later on in the day, you'll see this uh, area is very busy, especially around like sunset time. So it's cool in Rawai, a lot of the places are kind of like this style. Yeah, uh, like with the trees and yeah, I think it's still very green. I was expecting it to be more like developed or ugly looking, but it <laughs> looks nice with all the nature. Yeah, it is. It's a very green place. I mean, everywhere you look around, still green. So that's a shame. We came down this street the other day and it was like super lively, really cool. There was a big market going on. There was all sorts of seafood, wasn't there? Live yeah, seafood. Yeah, like super big fish and all sorts of seafood. It was very cool to see, but now I think it's too early. I think we got some here. Super fresh. Some crabs. Check it out, you got the horseshoe crabs here. Horseshoe crabs are cool. They've been around for 450 million years. Older than dinosaurs. And they're still here. Yeah, so later on it's basically like that, but pretty much everywhere. 
and then on the other side you get bars and uh, restaurants these are all full during the day yeah so this is as far as we're gonna go in Rawai to this second little beach so this part nobody comes at all it's more of just like a, a local area from what we've seen just loads of little shacks there's a nice little calm beach it's like a little fishing village basically but i think these still do uh boat tours too that's why we decided to stay in rawai just because it's more relaxed yeah because we know phuket is very famous for its nightlife and there are many uh resort towns here which are kind of uh, not our vibe or not for now that we are with your parents so we wanted a place that were more relaxing and I think we did well in choosing Rawai I mean the beach is not the best one to swim but I mean you have all the restaurants and cafes and everything that we need yeah and it's just laid back so it's nice but there are cool beaches nearby but they're like a 20 minute walk and this area was also a lot cheaper for the kind of accommodation that we're staying in yeah from what yeah, you saw because, uh, we went in a nice place for christmas and with a nice views. view yeah with a nice view so i found that one over there and i think in other areas like patong it was a lot more expensive because i think Atong is the main tourist area here but yeah it's a good place to stay I think and I think your parents like it too yeah they like it they like chilled out places We ended up getting in a taxi. We're paying a thousand two hundred baht overall, but that's because the taxi guy is going to wait for us, and he's going to take us to some beaches. And first, he's brought us here to the Big Buddha. So this is one of the main attractions in Phuket. Looks pretty awesome. We're going to walk up there. It's free entry, and we also get an incredible viewpoint here. I'm not even sure what beach that is. Is that Patong, maybe? No, I don't think so. No? I need to check on the Google Maps. I think Rawai is over there somewhere. Really not sure though. Huge beach though. So it's pretty cool you get the statue and an awesome view in one. There is a dress code though, but mainly only if you're a, a, a woman. So they didn't care about me showing my shoulders, but Carol had to use our little beach towel thing. I don't think you can show your shoulders, right? No. If you're a woman. So this is the selfie shot that everybody's taken. Look at the size of that statue. So from what I read, it's the third biggest uh, Buddha statue in Thailand. So one of the biggest, absolutely a massive. So I think that's probably the biggest Buddha statue we've ever seen. Yeah, I think it, it is the biggest one here in Phuket, right? Yeah, it must be. It's the third biggest in Thailand. I think this is the biggest one on this island. Got the nice uh, sculptures of elephants see elephants all around Thailand or well, the sculptures of them you also see a few too not sure what this is
also have uh, meditation classes that you can participate in if you want. I haven't seen that at a, a temple before. So the temple is pretty cool. It's not just the main statue here. There's loads of little areas around with other cool statues and viewpoints. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> I have no space left in my bag. Yeah, no space. This one is beautiful. Yeah, it's a really nice one. The designs. They're all nice, really. Are you getting that one, Mum? Talvez. Talvez. Get some white tie pants. Or oh, shorts. Yeah, I like this one. How much is it? 350. How much? 350. 350. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get these. Kick some ass. Got some baby ones too. <laughs> Now come to the next stop which is called Freedom Beach. So unfortunately the taxi that we got in, his car wasn't very good, it sounded like something was dangling off the bottom. So he dropped us way out, we had to walk like 15 minutes up a hill midday. Yeah so that wasn't very good for, for what we paid but we're getting there now. I think there's still gonna be a trail down to the beach. It's the first time we've seen a road like this in Phuket because it's very developed here. All the roads are really good. The main road that we've been going around almost seems like a highway road, like super smooth, really good. In general, the island is very developed. We knew, we knew that before we came, but I think it's even more developed than I thought even. So yeah, just loads of hotels everywhere, big buildings, constructing loads of stuff, but still very green at the same time. So yeah, it's still nice. Carol, this isn't what we were expecting, was it? No, we thought it would be empty. <laughs> yeah, because of that crazy trail. But it turns out that everybody just comes here on the boats, I think. The easy way. So we thought it was like a secluded beach from what we read online. Yeah, and also because of the hard trail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not. At least not now. It's uh, like summer and holiday season, so everybody's here. Yeah, everybody's on holiday. <laughs> bit, bit of a current taking us away here. So you saw that this is supposed to be one of the nicest beaches. Yeah, in, Pu in Phuket. Yeah, so I was searching like the, all the lists of best beaches and this one is usually in the first place. Oh, in all the lists? Yeah, pretty much all. So I think maybe that's why it's, uh, it's very busy as well because I think everybody searched for the yeah. best beaches to go. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not the best way to find a secluded beach, right? <laughs> no, but, but uh, I mean, I love it. Now that we are here, I really like it. It's beautiful. Yeah, we just didn't really want to put my parents through that trail. We thought it would be like a beach with an easier access. We should have read more about it. But it is really nice. But we're hoping that we can get out on one of these boats. Maybe it can take us to one of the beaches nearby that has a road. We'll check that later on.
come to that restaurant spot at the end of the beach. It's pretty cool because if you buy food or drinks, you can use the little beds here. So I just got this uh, popcorn chicken, I think they call it. And that was 240. What have we got over here? Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Mm -hmm. With tofu, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that it's the only vegetarian option that they have. Pad Thai with tofu, and I think it was 360. Yours smells better than mine. Yeah, it's a lot of food. It's a heavy bowl, and it's kind of spicy. But yeah, I can see the little like mm -hmm. red peppers yeah, there. It's super yeah. tasty. These are really good as well, the little popcorn chicken bowls. <laughs> gonna check out another little beach that's just around this corner around these rocks could see it on the drone and it looked pretty cool and I thought we could walk over the rock but it looks like there's a little trail over here going behind the rocks so we'll do that oh is that a coconut yeah. where did that come from so this trail is pretty simple at least this part really it's beautiful around this area though I can see why it's highly ranked yeah, the only problem is that it's full of trash. Oh yeah, trash All everywhere here. Too. Yeah, this is pretty bad actually. It's just a big dump around here. Look at all this trash. So they have all these bags, but I don't know. They're like ripped open. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing over here. Certainly ugly though. Kind of killed the beach, that's for sure. On this side of the beach you get some really amazing views and up here you got this really cool restaurant we should have eaten here <laughs> yeah the view is way better than the other one yeah a lot better than where we ate so we're actually on our way out we've come on a different trail less of a jungle trail on this part it's got uh, proper concrete steps so they do have the boat taxis back there but the problem is they're just absolutely ripping you off. So they were charging 2,500, which is around $70 just for like a five minute boat ride around the corner to either Patong or Caron. But that was for a private boat. But even if it wasn't private, it'd still be 500 per person. So 2,000, I think they charge that because they know if somebody doesn't want to do the trail, your only option is them. So yeah, you have to pay. So that's why we're doing the trail again. We don't want to get ripped off. Because even in Krabi, we'd go from Ao Nang to Riley, which is a similar distance, and they just charge 100 per person. So way, way cheaper, but not here. So we're back in Rawai now where we're staying. We come to some really cool spot that we wanted to check out because they have these bean bags here. Always relaxing. It's been a while since we've been to a place with uh, bean bags. Yeah, which is something that we really like. So this place is called Nong Bims. So I'm gonna get this grilled pork neck, 220. I had that the other day and I really liked it. What about you guys, drinking or eating? Drinking. Just a drink. What kind of drink? I'm having a cocktail. Cocktail. <laughs> so this is the alcohol menu. You can get a glass of wine, 200. All the cocktails seem to be 260 overall. Where's the beers? 
Uh, all sorts of prices 90, 80, bail out 140. That must be for a big bottle. Some of the imported ones seem to be around 290. So that's going to be it for this video but we do have another video coming up here from Phuket because we're going to be here a while longer so we're going to check out some other areas. Seems pretty nice from what we've seen, certainly very different than the region that we just came from in uh, Krabi. We were on Riley and uh, Pipi and those are more like smaller areas and there weren't really any cars there, you'd just walk around so those places had more like an uh, island vibe I guess. Well, Riley isn't even an island but it feels like you're on an island. Whereas here it's just more developed like I said. It almost doesn't feel like you're on um, an island sometimes because it's so big too. It just feels like you're on the mainland somewhere. But it's still a very nice place. So if you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next one.